Active IQ Level 3 Anatomy and Physiology exam. This is everything you need to know to pass that exam with confidence. Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and I've been working with FitPros to pass this exact exam for years, probably about 10 plus years now, and would throughout that not only pass their exam but also help them become amazing FitPros. And this video is no exception. So what I'm really gonna to highlight today is five key areas that you need to know about so that you can pass your exam with confidence. And this is gonna be everything from really understanding what's involved in that exam. I've also then got a free download for you as well, which will help you prepare. And also a really great opportunity for you that's gonna help you layer on all the information that I show you here today. So what is it that you need to know in order to pass? The first thing is that you need to know what to expect on your exam. A lot of learners, when they're first starting out, will have this situation whereby they know they've got to do an exam, maybe they've got a set date, maybe they haven't set the date yet, but they don't really know what's involved, so they don't know how to revise or prepare for that exam. So just know that on the Active IQ Level 3 Anatomy and Physiology exam, there are 40 questions. Each of these are multiple choice questions and you have 90 minutes to answer all of them. This means you've got about two minutes per question plus a little bit of extra reading time. So that should be plenty of time to work through all of your answers. Usually people will finish the exam ahead of that time, but know that you have all of that 90 minutes available to you. Now that timing may vary if you're not with Active IQ and you've got a different awarding body, for example, VTCT, CYQ, YMCA, FutureFit, there's lots of different awarding bodies out there. Um, so depending on the awarding body you're with, that may vary. But for Active IQ Level 3 Anatomy and Physiology exam in particular, then it's 40 questions and they're multiple choice. So now you know what to expect. The best thing is to now practice those exact type of questions because this gives you your starting point. So it's very hard to now start to revise and learn and recap your information and your knowledge if you don't already know what your strong and weak areas are. So to help you with that, we've prepared 101 mock questions, which is more than enough for you to really get your teeth stuck into each of the modules that are part of your anatomy and physiology. When you do this exam, you've actually got eight different sections. Now these eight different sections are gonna be mixed up throughout all of your exam questions, but in our 101 mock questions, we've separated those, so you're able to really see which ones are you are strong at and which areas you're a little bit weaker at, so you know where to improve in your studies. So all you gotta do is click the link that is with this video, and you'll be able to then download the mock questions use them and then test your knowledge and see what areas you need to work on most. Once you then know exactly what areas you need to work on, that area you need to learn smart. And this is my third tip, is about learning smart using acronyms and analogies. I cannot stress this enough. If you find it hard to learn, and say for example, you've jumped straight into your manual, so you've got your manual in front of you and you've started reading at the first word and you start working your way through the manual, you get to the end of the paragraph and suddenly you go, oh, I don't remember it, I'll read it again. And you go back through, you start reading again, and you get to the end of the paragraph, you're like, no, it's still not sticking. If you've done that, you're not alone, you're not broken, there's nothing wrong with you, it's okay. The chances are you just don't learn very well from a manual, from learning from reading, you just need a different method of learning. Now the other part of that, as well as the method and the mode that you're learning, it's also down to the, the way that that information is structured and written. So if it's written in a way that is sort of very matter of fact, it's not necessarily linking it to something that you already know, which means it's not simplifying it, which means you can't anchor it to something that's already inside your brain. And that's what Learning Smart is all about. Learning Smart is about having an analogy, an acronym, a story that you can link that new topic you're learning to something else you don't, or to something else you already know. So you do this linking across, and throughout that link, it means that then learning has happened and you can retain it. We do this a lot with our parallel coaching content and you've probably seen that on other videos here on YouTube as well. And also throughout all of our revision mastery boot camps, we use these analogies, acronyms and stories so that it makes information really easy to remember and digest. Now the next thing you need to know is that it's okay to repeat 
and recap and revise. So these three R's, repeat, recap and revise, repeat, recap and revise, and I mean it, you've got to go over content. And sometimes time can be a massive barrier on this, especially if you're reading it. And sometimes the more you hear something, the more it sticks in your brain. And that's why in our Revision Mastery Bootcamps, we've actually created a download for you of each of your video tutorials. So not only can you learn in video format, which saves time anyway, but that makes it easy to recap and go back over the main content. You'll also find that within that, you can download it to MP3. So whilst you're driving your car, walking the dog, you're in the gym, you can be listening again. And it's just that repetition helps you go back over things and learn it over and over and over again so that it sinks into your mind. So that combination of learning smart and then recapping it and revising is really key. It can also be good to recap in a way that condenses information even more. And actually we've designed something called our fast revision. So if you click the link that is with this video, it will take you to our revision mastery bootcamp for the level three anatomy and physiology exam. And within that, there's an option to tag on what we call our fast revision. And it's an exclusive bonus just for this page, so just for this link. And within that fast revision, you basically get the entire anatomy and physiology content squashed down into about 80 to 90 minutes of audio, chunked into eight chunks. And then you also get some flashcard mind maps to go with that, what we call brain dumps. And these are really good for helping you recap and go back over the content you've already done. So if you're at the point of now recapping and revising, that is gonna be absolutely golden as a tag on, and you can only get that by using the link that is with this video. Now my final thing to help you prepare for your exam, that final key point, is to make sure that you refine your exam strategy. This is golden because you can have all the knowledge in the world, but if you're not reading the questions properly and not managing your own anxiety and internal emotions, then you're gonna have a really hard time on your exam and potentially you could still end up failing. So what we've done is we've created something called the Instant Passing Hacks, and this is a really key bonus that is added onto our Vision Mastery Bootcamp. So this key bonus is all around teaching you how to break down complex words and complex questions so that you've got a system to follow every time you see a multiple choice question. And then we've also given you information about a brain dump, which will really help manage the anxiety and really help manage your exam strategy. So that's basically my five key areas that will really help you know exactly what to expect on exam day, especially if you're doing your Active IQ Level 3 Anatomy and Physiology exam. In there I've mentioned about our Level 3 Anatomy Bootcamp. Now our Bootcamp is an online program. If you are interested in everything that I've said about and you really want to make the most of your revision and your preparation so that you know you're going into your exam with confidence, then please do check out the link that is with this video for that Bootcamp because it will massively help you. If you don't want to go ahead and do the bootcamp, then do still make the most of our 101 download. It's absolutely free. You can download all mock questions that are on there and you'll have access to them instantly. That will come through to your email. So there you've got several different options there. You can join us on the bootcamp or you can join us with the download. Both links are going to be with this video. And finally, as a final point, I just want to let you know that you are not on your own. So many people will struggle with areas of their revision and their learning, and they find that they're doing it all on their own. They take on the burden of not knowing what to expect, of not knowing how to prepare, of not knowing how to do the exam, and they take all that burden on on their own. So please don't do it on your own. Please do reach out to us and we can help. Also drop a comment below this video if this video has been useful and you now know what to expect on your Active IQ Level 3 Anatomy and Physiology exam. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.